Hello there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want, how to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do using my life from the top of the mind system. So today the topic is the elephant in the room. <laughs> I think we've always all experienced some situation like this where there's something that nobody's talking about, but man, is it sucking up all the oxygen, all the energy, and people are afraid to talk about it. There is a quote that I'm sending out to those 6,000 folks on my quote list. By the way, if you want to receive one of my favorite quotes each week for free, all you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com. Or just Google Bill Crawford PhD, I'll come up on the first page. Hit the subscribe button, put your name and address, and each week I will send you one of my favorite quotes along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply the quote to life. So this quote says, when there's an elephant in the room, there's little room left for understanding, consensus, or problem solving. Because again, it sucks up all the air, it sucks up all the energy, but people are afraid to acknowledge it. And now, for those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know that when we're dealing with a situation where there's some fear involved, there's some worry, there's some anxiety involved, it actually engages this lower 20% of the brain. This middle brain, the limbic system that kind of acts as the scanner and the processor and the router, interprets this situation as dangerous, throws us into the brainstem, and we go into either fight, which is throw it in somebody's face, or flight, just pretend it doesn't exist and maybe it'll go away, which of course it doesn't because it keeps us from solving the problem. There's a quote from Albert Einstein that I use in my seminars and my books that's very important here. It says, problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness that created it. There's just got to become a group awareness of the elephant in the room, so somebody has to acknowledge it. But here's the thing, that somebody can't be somebody with an ax to grind. It can't be somebody with a particular solution they want to push through, because nobody will trust it so what it needs to do is, is have someone who is either respected by the family, everybody likes in the family, there's a neutral perspective, uh, a clergy person, a psychologist, because that's what I do a lot. I'm asked to come and talk to families or family businesses or even groups of friends sometimes when, man, there's just something that's getting in the way of these people moving forward. So the first thing I do is I connect with everyone and learn their perspective. Because in addition to acknowledging the elephant in the room, the second thing we've got to understand is everybody sees the elephant in a different way. You know, there's the parable of the blind person and the elephant where they blindfold uh, five or six people and they go and say, hey, yeah, tell me what you see. Well, they're groping around and they find the elephant, but one person finds the trunk, the other person finds the tusk, the other person finds the legs, the other person finds the side, the other person finds the tail. One person says it's a spear. The other person says it's a snake. No, no, it's a tree. Wait a minute, it's a wall. No, it's a rope. And from their perspective, they're all right. Someone says, don't tell me it's a wall. I'm holding a spear here. So we got to be careful of trying to impose our perspective on somebody else because they don't see it that way. So in addition to someone who's able to bring up the elephant in the room in a way where people don't get defensive, they've got to have the big picture. They've got to be able to see it from a distance in a way where they see all those different perspectives and can acknowledge that. Now, here's the third part of the solution. This person that is helping the family, the family business, the group of friends, the couple, resolve the elephant in the room has to also have a sense of the future a concept of a solution that encompasses everybody's needs, everybody's desires, everybody's wants. Now, of course, not everybody gets everything they want, but the person who is trying to help the group solve the problem has to have an awareness of what, how everybody's invested and some sense of a solution, or at least a discussion about a solution that has something in it for everybody. That takes a certain perspective, it takes a certain skill, but it is so important because unless people are moving forward, unless people are talking about the solution in a way where they see something in it for them, hey, where's their motivation to solve the problem? They can just go back to ignoring it and that's better than losing or giving up something that's really important to them. So if you have a family or a family business or if you're in a relationship or if you have a group of friends where hey, there is an elephant in the room, but nobody knows how to talk about it. Hey, give me a call. Give me a shout. Go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com. Let me know what you're interested in. I would love to talk with you about that. 
In the meantime, here is to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. Coming from that upper 80% of the brain where you can perceive the big picture in a way that allows you to be an effective problem solver in your life. Bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.